Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Kayla and we're here with Private Label. Today, we're gonna get into six different ways to install your weave for beautiful hair, babe. Oh yes, you heard it correctly. There are more than one or two ways of installing extensions. It's not just your typical glue and sewing methods that seem to be the most popular. There are tons of methods. Some are even so easy that you can do them yourself. It seems that with each passing year comes a new installation method for extensions, and I'm so here for it. So now let's discuss our six different hair extension methods that we can try. Number one is glue. In my opinion, the gluing method is the easiest and literally the fastest method. However, it may be the most damaging too. It all depends on the sewing weave installation. You can apply this one of two ways. The first way you can glue in hair extensions is by braiding or laying your natural hair down and then placing a weave cap over your head. The cap is gonna act as a barrier between your hair and the glue. Once intact, you wanna measure the needed track per layer, add glue, and apply pressure to the head. Literally, that's it. Really, really easy. This style is normally called a quick weave and we can see why. The second method is the same, but minus the cap. Some people don't mind having the tracks glued directly to their hair. There's also a special type of glue that's specifically made just for that option. It's more like a molding gel that gets applied to your whole head. You're gonna let it dry and then you apply your track. Glue and hair extensions can be a great option, especially if they're done right. So you wanna make sure that you follow our tips in order to achieve great results with glue and hair extensions. Our method number two is sewing. The sewing method offers more secure style. Keeping the extensions in place until you're ready to take them out. To prepare for this style, you will need a needle and thread and your hair will need to be braided. The two most common braid patterns for the sewing method are a circular style, the beehive, or straight back. The desired braiding pattern, it often depends on how you want the extensions to lay or where your part will be located. You should consult with whoever is sewing your hair so that they can best advise you. Once you're all braided up, you will need a needle and thread. I prefer using nylon thread because it yields a more durable sew-in. Placing the thread through the needle and then you wanna tie a knot to secure the thread in place. Then, starting at either side of the nape on your hair, you wanna begin sewing the needle with the weft through the braid. Pull the braid all the way out and repeat. In this method, the thread locks the tracks to the braid so that it's super duper secure. Also, the takedown for this method is really easy too. All you have to do is simply cut the thread out. Just be careful, girl, do not cut your own hair. It's always best to have someone do it for you. Option number three is gonna be our crochet method. This style has actually been around since the 1990s. It has definitely been making its comeback out of nowhere. I started seeing many women rock this style again. It's fun and it's a really quick method for almost anyone to do. And you can even do it yourself. So with this method, you can definitely save your salon money for your next trip. When you're doing the crochet method to apply extensions, you first need a crochet needle. Then you're gonna braid your hair straight back as well. And if you want some big hair or big curly hair, I suggest this style because the visible appearance of the loop, it won't show compared to the possibility of straight hair. All you have to do is slide the needle through the braid, open the latch on the needle, add the hair, close the latch, and voila, all done. Unless you honestly don't wanna do your hair, this is the method for you. You can sit down and watch your favorite movie all while looping and pulling, just looping and pulling. Option number four, clip-ins. The infamous extension method that's been around since forever. Everyone from celebrities, high schoolers, and all ethnicities wear the cutest clip-ins. They're precisely what their name is, clip-ins. It's hair that's already threaded on a track and it has a clip attached to it. The clip allows for easy weave installation. Normally, people wear these if they want to add some extra length and or volume really, really fast. It looks really great on straight hair and curly hair. Clippers are also the latest and greatest thing in the natural hair world. To install, just part your hair where you want the extension to go and clip it onto your scalp like you're combing your hair. For example, let's just say you're wearing a braid out hairstyle with your natural hair and you want a fuller look. Clippers will be great to use. 
maybe just two or three clips around certain parts of your head just to give it a fuller look. Number five, microlinks. Microlinks are also making it stamp in the beauty industry. It is a tedious installation method that takes up to at least three to four hours to complete. And it also requires a specially trained hairstylist to install. You must have a clamping tool, also known as hair pliers, to install the extensions for microlinks. Microlinks, they're attached with a bead that gets applied to each of your hair strands. Your natural hair, it goes through the bead that is applied on a loop, and then the extension goes through next. When the hair goes through the bead, clamp it in to secure the section. Once installed, you can treat it literally like your own hair. You'll be able to wash, cut, style, and color the hair, of course, assuming that the hair is 100% virgin. You're guaranteed to have long lasting wear with this hair. This method will ensure a seamless, natural look that will leave spectators wondering, girl, is it all your hair? Our sixth method is bonding. The bonding method is great for leaving your hair out while also rocking the extensions simultaneously. Some may argue that this method can be damaging to your hair, while others say that it's only damaging depending on how you remove the extensions. Bonding is done by parting your hair and gluing the track slightly underneath the scalp so that the scalp can breathe. It is very similar to a quick weave installation, but the only difference is that your natural hair is exposed with no braids. This method, it creates a natural illusion by allowing the extensions to blend super duper well with your hair. And there you have it. You now have six different hair extension methods to choose from. Each method has its own purpose for all different preferences. Girl, you know we love options. They allow you to see which method best suits your needs. So the next time you're getting extensions, be sure to weigh all of your options and be sure to consult with your hairstylist. Now, tell us down below which hair extension method is your favorite. Also, let us know which method you've tried or the ones that you're curious to try. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. You now have six amazingly beautiful hair extension methods that I hope you try. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.